Zoo has its own thing going on to kick things off for the new year. This time around, they've added a big city ball drop that they say is like none other in the world. Let's go now to Fact 17's Carl Apple, who is live there in the middle of all the celebrations at Bronson Park. Hi, Carl. <laughs> Lindsay, how you doing? It's pretty cold down here, but a lot of energy, a lot of people, and they're here to see this. This is Kalamazoo's sustainable New Year's ball made from recycled materials. Not the brightest thing in the world, but it does the job. This year, it's going to come down at 1145. People around here don't care what it's made of. They came down here to see it. Last year, four to 5,000 people came down. This year, they sold 8,000 of their passes. No doubt, they want to they want to be here to see the ball come down. It's hard to find a New Year's party quite like Kalamazoo's. Outside, tubas. Inside, big band music. You go a few doors over. And you get KISS. Well, a KISS cover band anyway, at a church across the street. And it's more of a uh, celebration of the arts for New Year's. More than 30 acts at 14 venues. The magic show and all the fun stuff for the kids. Including activities for just about anyone. But there's really only one star attraction. The kids want to watch the ball, so we'll see if it lasts that long. They think we're in New York City. Of course, it doesn't really take the stage until midnight. It's a first for the first sustainable ball in, uh, in the world. Mavcon, a local construction company, approached the organizers about designing a ball, but not just any. We have thousands of LEDs. So unlike your traditional, where you want to see large bulbs, you're not going to see that. You're going to see more of a streamlined, uh, high efficiency lighting, which will give you the same result, but it'll look much sleeker. It's also powered by ethanol, and people are excited. It's the first time ever we've had a ball drop here in Kalamazoo. And they should be. After the food and music, 2010 also means their city hits a milestone year. When that ball hits the bottom, Kalamazoo starts our 125th anniversary. So the countdown starts at 11.45. The mayor will do the honors to ring in the new year. And, Lindsay, what is it about seeing this ball come down? Obviously, thousands more here in Kalamazoo, uh, presumably, to see it. And people really get into it. Yeah, for the first time down there, uh, great turnout, it looks like. Thanks a lot, Carl. Happy New Year. Yeah, it looks like it. Thanks.